This morning we have learned an Albany State volleyball player was one of the two people shot and killed at the 1145 lounge in Buckhead Mother's Day morning. 11 Alive's Ariana Manise joins us now live outside the club. Ariana, this morning police are still searching for that shooter and the club is closed. That's right, the club was supposed to be open last night for an AUC Senior Week party, but that party was canceled. The club was closed just days after this lounge became a crime scene where two people lost their life and four other people were shot. We spoke to one of the victim's best friend who remembers her for her bright soul. Oh, I'd be able to cope with this pain, honestly, because she did deserve this. She did. 21-year-old Mari Creighton was one of Muhammad Guy's best friends. She was a rising senior and volleyball player at Albany State and sadly one of the people killed in an early morning shooting at 1145 Lounge in Buckhead on Sunday. She was such a bright soul. Like, she's always ready to laugh, to go out, have fun, make other people laugh. So Muhammad says he's holding on to hope that they find whoever carelessly took Mari's life, a person he says was more like his little sister. Everybody know when Mari hugs you, Mari's been squeezed. Like, she's she's going to hug you. So I'm just like, dang. I will miss those hugs for real, for real. Atlanta police have not made any arrest. Was one shooter inside that establishment. Atlanta Police Chief Darren Shearbaum appeared before City Council on Monday, where he provided more details about the shooting. He says the shooting started with the physical altercation, and the shooter was targeting another person inside the club. And that one shooter intended to cause one other person harm inside. And in doing so, that, that weapon was discharged. Police say the suspected shooter shot and killed the person they were targeting and shot five other victims. And while the four other people are recovering at the hospital, Shearbaum says his officers will continue to investigate so they can hold someone accountable. And that is the priority of this department, that if you're going to use guns to harm people, that you will be held responsible. We will put you before court. Atlanta police say they're reviewing video from inside the club to pinpoint exactly who opened fire here at this nightclub. They're also interviewing those who survived the shooting. Reporting live from Buckhead, I'm Ariana Manise for 11 Alive. Back Ariana, thank you. As new information keeps coming in about this story, we are updating it on 11alive.com. You'll find it on our homepage.